everybody. What is going on? It is done by Snack Bar here with Madden 25, and we've got some of the Texans franchise coming your way right here. Now, you can tell I'm a little bit under the weather, which is why I didn't post anything yesterday besides the Nebraska game. Plus, I actually had a ton of homework that I was doing, just kind of studying for my network plus stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to gut through it. This will probably be the only video going up today. I'm going to try to see how I feel a little bit later on, see if I can do some videos for Friday, but forget about that. Let's go ahead and get to the game. So in the last game, Arian Foster really was not a presence at all. I was actually rather disappointed with his performance. When you have an elite halfback like him, you definitely want to make sure that he gets uh, as many carries as you can get to him and you know expect him to pick up a bunch of yards. That didn't happen. So I'm hoping that today against the Tennessee Titans, we'll be able to do that. Now, I almost was the Tennessee Titans, actually, for owner mode, but I decided to be Kansas City instead. But anyway, third and six, Fitzpatrick going back. He's going to throw it over the left side here. Not going to be able to hold on to that one and bring it in, so the Titans are going to have to punt. So here we go, starting it off with Darian Foster. He's going to pick up, really, one yard on this one. All right, that's not good, so I'm going to have to go with the passing game here a little bit. Just see what Schaub can put together here. But along the left side, Johnson with the catch. He's trying to juke. That doesn't work, so he spins. And that gets him past two defenders, but he's going to get out of bounds. At the 29-yard line now, first and 10. Now we're going to go ahead and get it on over to Daniels. But because of the way that I had thrown that, I wasn't able to get the best jump on uh, cutting up field. But that's all right. Here we go. Foster stretching that one out. It's going to get tripped up from behind. But still going to get a great pickup here. First and 10. Johnson in motion now. Foster with a lot of room in front of him, though. If only I could have beat that last man. Could have had a touchdown with him. All right, so running game does seem to be going a little bit better. I'm cool going with it, especially when I'm getting a touchdown like that. Of course, I got to go with the unnecessary dive. Why? Because that's just what I do. I love doing the unnecessary dive into the end zone. All right, but that's going to give us an early 7-0 lead here. We've got three minutes to go in the first quarter here. So the Titans are really going to have to go ahead and put something together on this drive. Green with a good run, but he's going to fumble that one, and we're not going to be able to recover it. It rolls out of bounds for a pickup of four. Man, that one was close. All right, play action pass here. Stevens with the catch. He'll be tripped up as well. So third and two. I'm anticipating here a run, and I'm blitzing. And that was a smart move, but we weren't able to go ahead and tackle. That's like the most frustrating thing, I think, in these games, is when I just can't make a tackle. But we lose the yard, or er, the Titans lose the yard, I should say, on that one. Fitzpatrick going to be going with the pass, and he's going to fumble it here too. Stewart recovers, but they're going to lose about seven yards on that one to make it third and 18. So, of course, I'm going. I'm going to be anticipating a pass here, just setting everybody back. So Fitzpatrick getting a lot of time since I'm only sending three men towards him. Uh, and Wright would have caught that if he didn't come in contact with four defenders all at once. Yeah, that's going to be tough for anybody to make a catch if they're going to get hit by four people as soon as uh, they make the catch. Shot rolling out. Wasn't able to throw the ball away. I wanted to, but man, a terrible play right there. I should not have rolled out like that. All right, so we got to go with four verticals to see if we can go ahead and... Uh, never mind. Another sack. This one wasn't necessarily my fault. The offensive line buckled a lot quicker than I was thinking that they were going to. So here we go, third and 34, going deep with it. And Griffin is going to intercept it. This was by far the worst drive that I have had in any football game in a long time. Two sacks and then an interception on third down. That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. But Fitzpatrick, well, he's going to get hurt after that one. Offensive line is really not defending him at all and really no protection whatsoever. So I'm not too surprised. So Locker is going to be coming in here now to replace Fitzpatrick. He's going to make the completion. Third and 11. Five wide receivers set now for Locker. So, of course, I'm anticipating pass. That was a smart call. Knock that one down and force the Titans to punt again. Five minutes and 45 seconds here in the first half. Foster cutting in. Pickup of two, given the fact that the uh, Titans defended that one pretty well. I'll take two yards on that one and not be too angry about it. But there I go to Hopkins. All right. 
So I got to keep those passes going here just to keep the Titans honest. And it kind of helped me with my running game. I cut the wrong direction here, but I pick up six yards nonetheless. Second and four. Foster. Bobbing and weaving around everybody. And even picks up a few yards as he starts to go down. So now we're at the Titans' 45-yard line. Going to be looking to run it right across the middle here. Pretty decent opening right there. Again, another six-yard pickup. That's not too bad considering I ran it up the middle. And with the way that Foster was running here in the first game. But Martin drops that one. Third and four. 251 left to go here in the first half. So Hopkins not able to hold on to it as he gets hit, but he's injured. So I'm going to be going with a long field goal here, 54 yards. This one's going to go up, and it's not going to be good. Now that was a long field goal here. And in some things in life, the only time you can know what your limits are is by testing them. So now I know while I'm at home, I shouldn't go ahead and kick anything longer than 54 yards. So, all right. Now I know. Lesson learned. Now I just got to go ahead and prevent the Titans from being able to get anything going now. So it's third and ten. We've done a good job on this drive being able to stop them here. Two minutes and 37 seconds to go. Locker going to throw it, and we're going to deflect that one. And Gosh, that was a powerful deflection, too. We kind of, like, knocked it back 20 yards. All right, that's okay. Now I've got it at the 30-yard line. Let's see if we can go ahead and get some points on the board here or some more points before we go ahead and reach halftime. So now it's the two-minute warning here. We're looking at second and inches. I'm going to go back to Foster again. Seems like when we go ahead and stretch any running play out here, that tends to be when Foster picks up the most yards. So got a lot of options, but none of them were open on that one. So I'll take yet another sack. Too many sacks in this game. Both sides. Giving up way too many. So second and 21. There I go. Getting it across the middle. 50 seconds now. Still have all my timeouts. I probably should be using them here. But that one's going to get deflected. Second and 10. That stops the clock. So I do not have to use a timeout. I'm going to send Foster out on the wheel. Oh, man, I'm lucky to have gotten that one off here. Third and 10. Now, I'm in field goal range. So if this one doesn't work out too well, I'm okay. So, ah, Foster got his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. So not quite 54 yards here. But this one, yep, that'll be good. All right, so we're going to go into the locker room here by a score of 10 to nothing. So not too bad. All right, now I got to remember, that's a good distance for me to go ahead and kick a field goal. But I didn't make it by much at all. All right, now it's time to head to the locker room. So changes to be made, um, really not too many. I mean, Foster's now running a little bit more uh, with the type of, of pickups here I was hoping to get out of him. I mean, I'm not looking to break like 10, 12 yards every single carry. I think that would be absolutely ridiculous to expect anybody to be able to go ahead and do anything like that. But, you know, he's getting six yards of carry, which I will take any day of the week. Passing game's been going okay. Defensively, we've been getting a lot of sacks. Um, I don't think I'll be changing too much here in the second half. All right, so first and 10. Now we are in the red zone. I'm going to hand it off to Foster, who... Cuts in to get the touchdown. All right. So Foster's got some great moves here. I've been able to notice that here in this game. There's a few times I've been bobbing and weaving here around, you know, the defenders and still able to pick up a fair amount of yards. So I'm liking this. 17 nothing. So Locker is still in. Fitzgerald still injured. Don't know if we'll be seeing him anymore today. But I probably could have looked at the injury report. Green getting tripped up, but still able to pick up some yards as he tries to balance himself and keep himself on his feet. So Stevens now with a four-yard pickup. Going to try and blitz a little bit more here. Maybe put some more men in the box. If they keep going like this, but Green just fighting for every single yard here. He's going he's to make it third and one. So this is starting out to be a pretty good drive here for the Titans. Really fooled me on that one. That's going to get him the first down. A lot of runs up the middle. 
Okay, so now I go with the blitz, but Tennessee almost got around that one. So no peck up right there for the Titans. Locker throwing it to an open walker, but the big hit as he catches it here is only going to allow him to pick up seven yards. So nothing after that. So play action works. Stevens catches it, keeps two feet in bounds. First and 10 at our 41 yard line. Green with a great run. Got a switch. No, I didn't think I was going to be Reed right there. Oh, man. That's okay. Tennessee gets the touchdown. We're still up by 10 points now. So it's a two possession game. Now, 51 seconds to go in the third quarter. So, we've still got a pretty good chance to be able to end this here. If I can go ahead and score. All right, only a few plays left to go before we reach the fourth quarter. Schaub. Uh, I thought he was going to catch it, but deflected at the very last instant. Okay, going to try and cut through the middle of the field here. Johnson would have caught it if it wasn't for a great defensive play by the Titans. Just diving, swatting that one away. So I have to go ahead and punt. This will be the last play of the third quarter as there was only one second left. So that's it. Pick up a four. Welcome to the fourth quarter, everybody. This is where the magic is made. Well, I'm hoping no magic is made today. All right, so on the screen pass, Green with the great pickup. The blocking in front of him was just magnificent. So I wasn't able to get anybody over to him here. So now the Texans 41-yard line, another screen. But that time we defended a little bit better here. Pick up five. All right, got to put some more pressure here on Locker. That's going to be the thing. So we get the sack right there, loses a few yards. Third and nine, man in motion going from left to right here for Locker. So this one, whew, that was close. Fourth and nine, so at the 40-yard line, they are going to go ahead and punt the ball. It is a touchback, so we're going to get it at the 20. That's all right. We're going to try and run the clock out here. Foster cutting in between two defenders to get the first down, and that's going to put him over 100 yards. So it is great that we finally have a game now where we've got Foster over 100 yards. The first preseason game didn't really count because there's very little chance that anybody as a running back is going to pick up 100 yards in just one quarter. Now, can it be done? Oh, absolutely, and it has been done before, but wasn't expecting it out of him. So 119 yards now. I'm kind of counting it. We're at midfield here with three minutes and 17 seconds to go, letting the clock run down quite a bit before we go ahead and hike the ball. Foster not getting too much here as we run the ball up the middle. That was defended well by the Titans, who kind of knew I was going to be going through the middle instead of tossing it to the outside like I do right here. Some great blocking, though, is what allows me to be able to pick up that three yards. If I hadn't been tripped up from behind, probably could have gotten a lot more. So third and four, Foster's not going anywhere. So Tennessee calls a timeout here, and I'm going to be forced to punt it right here with a minute and 56 seconds to go. So I'm going to try to see if I can pin them back deep in the coffin. Well, they're going to get at the nine-yard line. So not too great here, but it could have been a lot worse than that. So that's all right. Of course, passing situation here, so I am guessing that it is a pass. And even though he cuts back, Jackson is going to intercept it and stay in bounds. But it's going to be at the 14 or 15 yard line here. Minute 44 to go. Throwing it to the right here to Foster. He'll get tripped up. Second and eight. Now, Tennessee called a timeout there. So, going to stay in bounds. Third and three. Another timeout here for Tennessee. All right, Foster with the run up the middle is going to get it to the three-yard line here, first and goal, but I am going to do the honorable thing, and I'm just going to go ahead and kneel the ball and not try and add some more points to any of this. All right, so we end up winning here game two. A lot of good things here, especially out of the running game for Arian Foster, but there's still a few uh, things I really need to work on for the next few games. Anyway, thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. More of this to come later on, so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz, but you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thank you again, and as always, I hope you guys have a good one.